ever start to take a bite of a scone and wonder, where did scones come from? And when were they in first invented? Well, keep watching and you'll find out. Scones were believed to first originate in Scotland in the early 1500s, but the first printed reference was in 1513 by a Scottish poet. Scones are related to the ancient Welsh tradition of cooking small round yeast cakes, or leavened breads, on baked stones and then later on griddles. One myth of how it got its name is from the stone scone of destiny, a stone upon which Scottish kings once sat when they were crowned. This stone of destiny was long ago removed from Westminster Abbey, and again, this is very unlikely. The more logical origins of the name scone may be derived from schoenbrood, and I apologize if I'm not pronouncing that right, a Dutch word meaning fine white bread, but it also could be derived from scone, which rhymes with gone, a Gaelic term for shapeless mass or large mouthful. Originally, scones were much larger. They were made with oats or wheat flour and formed into a large round shape, scored into six wedges, then griddle baked over an open fire. My mom and I pat the dough into a rectangle instead, but it gets the same result. Later, when oven baking became a thing, the round dough was cut into wedges and the scones were baked individually. When baking powder became available, scones were oven baked and became the light airy baked good that we know them as today. Modern scones are widely available in British bakeries, grocery stores, and supermarkets. When baked at home, scones can be cut into many different shapes such as triangles, circles, and squares. Baking scones at home is often closely tied to heritage baking. They tend to be made using family recipes rather than recipe books, since it is often a family member who holds the best, most treasured recipe. Kind of like this recipe that I'm sharing with you today. This is the recipe that I got from my mother and that we used growing up. A scone is closer to a pastry than it is to a bread because it isn't made with yeast. A scone can be made in a variety of ways. Traditional English scones may include raisins or currants, cheese or dates, though they are often plain so that jam preserves, lemon curd or honey can be added to them. Scottish scones tend to be more savory like soda scones or potato scones. American scones or biscuits are more buttery and are typically served alongside meat and vegetable type dishes. In some countries, a savory scone could include a combination of cheese, bacon, or onion. Other kinds of scones include the drop scone, kind of like a pancake where you drop the batter onto a griddle. Then there is the lemon scone, which is made with lemonade and cream instead of butter and milk. Then there is the fruit or fruited scone, which is a plain scone with fruit added to the dough. And then sometimes scones are glazed with an egg wash. This pastry can be served with many different toppings and sides like butter, jam and cream, or strawberries, which sounds really good. <laughs> I bet you could also add blueberries, cranberries, or raspberries. Or my preferred method, chocolate chips. And apparently there is a proper time in the day to eat a scone, according to the snacking routine of Anna, the Duchess of Bedford, afternoon tea started at exactly 4 p.m. Guess I've been eating them at the wrong time all of my life. <laughs> now you may have heard two different pronunciations for scone. One pronunciation is scone like gone, and the other is scone like tone. And we all know my way of pronouncing it because I've said it like 50 times in this video. <laughs> And throughout the years, it has been quite the debate, which is the authentic one. Supposedly, both are acceptant, but the question has never really been answered. But I will tell you that the Queen of England has weighed in on this debate, and she tends to lean towards scone like gone. Well, that does it for me. I hope you enjoyed the start of this new series of mine, how it originated. Let me know if you knew any of these facts about scones down below, and let me know if you tried this family recipe out. Thanks for stopping by my little corner of YouTube, and I hope you have a great week. Bye!